put your clamping on, machine your rush job. You can then take that off, put your production run back on without ever disrupting your setup. Welcome to the MTD Technical Corner. Today we're joined by First MTA, First Machine Tool Accessories, and we're going to be re reviewing a brand new product portfolio, Cinco Work Holding. Lee, welcome to the studio. Uh, thanks, Gio. Thanks for having me. Great to be here. Lee, absolute pleasure. Um, I'm intrigued to find out a little bit more about this new work holding solution that you've added to your portfolio and that MTD are officially digitally reviewing today for the very first time in the UK. Um, now, some animations are coming on screen and this really shows the modular aspects of the system, but can you please firstly give our audience a brief overview of this product portfolio? It's um, the new innovation zero point. It's designed by um, tool and die makers to solve their problems. And their whole philosophy was design away all the problems that we're having. Well, I love that philosophy. Now, this is a very modular system, as I mentioned, and as we can see on the screen here today, let's start off with um, three axis applications and the kind of solutions that you offer uh, a machinist on a three axis machine. Okay, so you've got your basic, you can put your vices on it, you can use conventional work holding on top of your base plate. It also gives you the ability to use a pallet system for quick change processing. So you can unload your, your finished work piece, reload another pallet, set it going whilst that pallet is being offloaded outside of the machine. When you talk about zero point, are you referring to zero point on the gridded base plate? I am, yes. So. Normally, people would be used to seeing the conventional zero-point receiver with the pin system. Cinco works on conical slots, and instead of having two, four, or six zero points on an entire base plate, every intersection on the base plate is a zero-point location. And how does that work technically? Okay, so the, the centering elements on the, the base of the pallet, or you can get them to machine into your old work holding as well, um, they use the tapers to actually achieve the location, which not only gives uh, the zero point location, but it gives rigidity in your X and Y, so that there's no possibility of any sort of twist movement whilst locating your work pieces. Right, I'm with you. So the gridded system, the, the actual slots are tapered. That's correct, yes. Right. So moving on from the, the gridded system, which is your foundation plate, yep. then you can incorporate the rails, which we've seen, or the vices, centric grippers, so on and so forth. Um, so it does give you a, a hell of a lot of flexibility from what I can see. What kind of accuracy and clamping force can you achieve with the Cinco? Okay, so the, the clamping forces in X and Y that could be withstand, uh, withstood are 260 kilonewtons. Um, the accuracy, the published figures, five microns of repeatability. Um, in reality, it's always better, wow. but five, five microns is the, the worst case scenario. Wow, so lots of solutions, lots of modular aspects for a free axis machinist. Let's move on to uh, fourth axis or horizontal machines, multi-pallet machines. What solutions do you have available for these machine tools and the particular applications that they lend themselves to. Okay, so for your fourth and fifth axis, you, there are different pallets available to the standard three axis um, base plate. Also worth noting that what we've seen on screen and what's sat on the table here is the 50 millimeter pitch. If you don't need that many zero points, there is the 100 millimeter pitch available as well. Um, and also we can do the tombstones the, um, the the flat base plates with pneumatic receivers. So if you did want that automation available to you, it can absolutely be done. So like with uh, what you're referring to there, with like a, a pool stud uh, zero point um, incorporated into the tomb. Cell. That's correct, yes. Yeah. Uh, brilliant. So again, lots and lots of versatility. And, and I've not mentioned the range yet. Can you kind of touch upon the range and the different variants of course, that you have available. So as well as your base plates that are available in all different shapes, sizes, um, and zero point pitches, you've got your centric vice. Currently, um, we have one size that does a fairly decent range. It's a 100 mil width jaw to 144 gripping, dia uh, gripping length. Um, they are currently developing different sizes as well. They are, will be coming to market soon. 
Um, then you've got your top clamping accessories. You've got five different pallet types available to you, um, which you're going to be able to use for automation purposes, for five axis purposes. But most importantly, for a zero point system, this can actually be used on wire and sync EDM as well. Wow, so it can be submerged? That's correct, yes. So you will be able to go from your machining centre into your wire machine and then onto a CMM. If anything's wrong, your product can be replaced on any of the previous operations within five microns of where it was. Wow, EDM, EDM kind of industry. There's a lot of aerospace work that's done within the EDM industry. Um, are there any ways in, in which you can, oh, well, traceability, if you like, how can you kind of, um, what, how, what kind of traceability elements do you offer? Okay, so each pallet can actually be barcoded. So not only would you be able to trace the pallet to the shift, if the company wished, you could actually trace your pallet to an operator. So each operator could have their pallet, they do their work in shift, you remove that pallet at the end of your shift, the next guy puts his on, and it, when you come back into work the next day, you put your pallet back on and resume from where you were. Fantastic. No resetting. Fantastic. Now we mentioned, or you, you alluded to automation, you obviously offer automation solutions as well at First NTA yeah. that really work well with your work holding solutions. So effectively, you've got a work holding solution that is automated uh, and automation ready, um, which is great. Um, moving on to the fifth axis, great, great looking uh, fifth axis work holding solution there, you know, with the riser blocks. Talk us through this, please. Yep. So obviously, again, it's starting at the bottom with the base plate, then you've got the risers. So if you're struggling for Z, you can just lift the pallet up. It doesn't need to be located. The, the risers have the zero point locating elements on them. So it's the same as locating your pallet directly to the base. Then you're fixturing onto your vice or your work holding onto your pallet, which can then be moved from the machine to a CMM and back again if necessary to relocate. But to me, it looks like it's all very interchangeable from one machine tool to another, whether it be three axis, four axis, or fifth axis. So um, to me, it looks absolutely fantastic. And I'm looking forward to see this product in the field and to kind of review it and to, to do some case studies. Um, finally, from me, Lee, you did mention top tooling. What does this mean and, 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 and how can you use this top tool within, within your system? Okay, so conventionally, you would have your, your five axis vice, your centric vice, or your, your standard machine vice on your table. Um, using the pallet system, you're, you can be running production runs, but let's say that you get a rush job, you need to strip your machine down. Well, now it's just a case of remove that pallet. You can build your work holding straight onto the base plate. There is um, fixturing holes on top as well as within the zero points. Put your clamping on, machine your rush job. You can then take that off, put your production run back on without ever disrupting your setup. So it's very customizable. Yes, it is, yeah. Lee, thank you very much for joining us in the NTD studio to explain technically this brand new product from First NTA. To find out more, contact First NTA and they'll be glad to come and pay you a visit. Thanks, Lee. Thank you, Gio. Thank you for having me.